Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to show you guys a new product that's out there from Martha Stewart Crafts. Now, if you have uh, been around YouTube or the internet, you have been seeing everywhere a lot of the acrylic pouring, acrylic uh, art, and it's fantabulous. It's exciting. Uh, this is a marbling medium. It's a marbling technique that will give you the same kind of vibe. You will not get the cells, I don't believe, that you get in the acrylic pouring, but this is really cool in itself. So I'm gonna show you, you know, a couple different uh, substrates to work on. We're gonna do a little bit of cardboard because I love cardboard. This is a piece of wood, this is a canvas, and this is what you get. This is a multi-surface marbling medium. Now this means you can marble on multi-surfaces, which is fantastic. And on here it says, you can, let me take my glasses off so I can read. It says, you can create a permanent marbled effect on wood, canvas, paper, glass, ceramic, terracotta, and metal. Um, you want to mix one part paint to two parts marbling medium. Stir gently to prevent air bubbles in the mixture and allow to sit for 10 minutes for excess bubbles to rise. And then you want to drizzle the mixture onto your project surface. Tilt slowly. Allow it to flow freely to create the marbling effect. Use a combing tool or a toothpick and drag through the mixture while wet to create a more intricate design. Let the excess mixture drip off from the edge of the project surface. Allow project to dry completely on a flat surface. Clean up while wet with soap and water. You can go to plaidonline.com for your how-to videos uh, to see more. Now, I only poured a little bit. You get six ounces in here, which, I mean, you know, is fairly... Uh, I mean, I think I might have used half, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more than half. Um, I went to practice, so I figured I'd throw the camera on and just, you know, show you a little bit of this and we can see how it works. But I want to do a piece of wood. I have a piece of wood that I want to use, uh, which I will do in a different video if you are curious to see it. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to play and see how it works so I know when I go to do my wood what I'm working with. Okay, so this is wood, can uh, cardboard, canvas. Let's see what we get to do. So I poured the uh, marble medium. I got five. I just used these little measuring plastic cups that you got. You can mix in anything. I used some wicker white. I used Emerald City in satin, multi-surface satin. I used the multi-surface satin in Celadon. You know, I'm horrible with names. Uh, some fuchsia and some uh, pure black. And in the pink, I used a little bit of uh, sparkle. I had like the teeniest bit left of extreme glitter. So I just put it in there to see what it was like. So let's try the piece of wood first. I'm going to use this as my, you know, to pour on in case I don't have enough and then it can just go on there. So let's see, and this is primed. This just has some flat um, paint on it, some chalk paint that I used. It's just a piece of wood. Oh, so I'm so excited. So I like to go light to dark, but maybe I should go dark to light. Hmm, let's try it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kinda drizzle a little bit, a little bit. I didn't do a lot, I didn't mix a lot because I, I, like I said, I don't want to, um, I don't want to waste too much because I really have a project in mind that I want to use it, but I want to make sure I know how to use it. So this is all I'm kind of doing. Drip. I'm just going to touch it there. I hate wasting stuff, but I love doing the acrylic pouring. So this seems a little thicker than I might want it. Yeah, it's cut. See, it's coming out. I need a little bit more mixture in there. So I will put a little bit more in there. Okay. And then I'm going to pour some white. All right. Now, before I mix it, I want to show you. 
you can see it's fairly thick on there. I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot. I don't care. Um, you know, cause we're just playing, but I'm going to take this. It says use it. Maybe I'll use a, the end of my paintbrush. I don't have my, Oh yeah, I do. I have my chopsticks here. Excuse me. Let's use the end of a chopstick. And let's see. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I might have to, all right, it's getting something, but I might have to leave it run a little bit. Maybe that's what it meant. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe that's what it meant when it says run. And then I can do the, uh, if nothing more, I get, I'm just going to tap it, you know, some on my canvas to start a mixed media canvas. Oh, okay. Okay. I know you're not seeing it. You will in a minute. Look, it's pretty darn cool. Okay. Oh, that's pretty darn cool. Okay. So I want more pink. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my marbling medium and pour it in there. And I'm going to try to do it as lightly as I can so I don't get bubbles because I have to stir it too. But apparently when I put the um, glitter in, it must have made it a little thicker, which is okay. I'm just going to take some and plop because who doesn't like a good plop now and then? And I love the black in it. I might have to put some more black. Through here just a little bit. I'm gonna hold it up high so it goes a little thinner. Oh, excitement. Okay. Now let's leave it run. Good thing I didn't paint my nails yet. Now you might want to put a little bit more of the marbling medium in than I am only because it might make it run a little bit better. I'm very, like I said, I, I hate, I hate doing that but I think you're going to have to, so I'll just have to pour more, but I'm just going to kind of run this through a little bit and see what we get. I love the organic look of just like it running and pouring. So I think on the cardboard, I'll do it a little bit more because I definitely need more like here on these edges. white here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do I want more pink? No. Now let's see. See how you get it running and it really gives you a nice look. how cool that looks and it looks exactly like acrylic pouring really and I know so many of you I was really excited to do this because so many of you are nervous about the chemicals that go along with I'm gonna use this uh, that go along with the um, I'm gonna scrape up a little bit of this and just touch the acrylic pouring like the um, what's it called the flow troll and that kind of thing the silicone. Now I've done pouring with, and I have had requests to do more with the um, glazing medium and all from uh, Folk Art. So I will be having more of those coming up where you don't have to use the uh, flow troll and all that kind of stuff. So keep your eye out for that. I do have a video up doing one of those as well. And it's just another way to do it. I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people, the chemicals, they're not happy about doing it. 
you know, in their house or the kids doing it or whatever. So there's a, so many different ways. And this is a really cool way to do some, you know, marbling without having to go outside or wear a mask. Oh, this is so cool. So cool. So cool. I'm really digging it the way it is. So I don't even want to mess around with it anymore. I'm just going to give it a tilt this way. Give it a tilt this way. And then look, look how gorgeous that is. Oh, okay. So I'm going to, didn't think about where to set it. So I'm just going to set it there for now. And let I me mean, look at this. I don't want it to get on the bottom of my of my thing and stick, but I just smeared it, so that's not going to help things. So we'll just we'll just go along with that, shall we? I wanted to see if it would marble, but obviously it turns to mud. Okay, so that's okay. I'm not worried about that. We can go over it. Okay, 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 okay. I want to do. Let's just go for it. I'm just pouring it everywhere. That's one. And this is just cardboard. I threw a little bit of gesso on it just to help it not sink in as much, which it doesn't matter if it sinks in, but I just think you get a little bit better of a color. pink still like girl I'm not I'm not as uh, thin as you want me yet <laughs> there we go and then the white oh yeah okay Woo! exciting so you see that now let's make it rain yep there it goes <laughs> oh I'm just turning it each and every way just so it goes down and you can use that extra you know on your edges of whatever you're using your canvas your cardboard your whatever I mean this is really cool and what a great thing to do with the kids I'm always about doing stuff with the kids I think as my nephew you know just where they can get messy and you don't have to worry too much And I just gotta get this corner. It's happening. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Just not wanting to do it. I'm gonna give you a little white. Okay. I mean, look how cool that is. Look at that. Now you can see I kind of left it. I let, let it go that much a little bit too much because it kind of blended a little bit more here, but I'm not going to worry about it. All I'm going to do is just take a little bit. I may only have a little bit of black and just kind of plop it down. And some more of the green if I have it. kind of let it run now it says let's see let's see if I can do this I don't want to mush up my background because I'm digging that but I'll move this move little friends move 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 this here I will move my camera the littlest bit out okay so you see this so now i'm going to take i'm going to take the very thin part of this and i'm just going to see what happens if i very lightly just kind of roll it around take it through just to kind of pull some of that color through
You could probably use a fork, you know, like a plastic fork. Now I used satin, which I should have. Next time I think I might use gloss, but I can always spray this or coat this when I'm done. And I'm just lightly pulling it through just because I love to see how much I can do before I ruin things. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Giving it a whole bunch of movement. Woo! Okay. I better stop because I'm getting so excited. Okay. So look. Look at that. How gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. And I'm all into the acrylic pouring anymore. So this <clears throat> makes me so happy. So happy. So look. That's on wood. Uh, on wood. That's on uh, cardboard. Gorgeous. Okay. And then let me show you the wood. Oh, so excited. I'll let you know how long it takes to dry. Now this is thin wood. All Obviously it's balsam wood, but I mean, look how, look at that. How pretty. Now I can also, you know, I see here it's white there. Do I, do I care that it's that white there? I did not pull anything through this like I did this. So mm, do I want it that white? I might want, I might want like the teeniest bit. I don't know how teeny you're going to come out, but I just want like a, a ploop. And then let's let it run for a second. It's already drying. Oh, no, it's not. I can see it's still wet. But what I want to do is kind of add Come on. Black might be all gone. Here we go. And then a little bit of pink, 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 pink. Come on, because I know you're going to ploop there. Ploop. All right. Moving it around. Okay. Now I'm going to take this just because of this. I'm just going to kind of very lightly run the black through the pit. Oh God. Okay. I'm gonna live. All right. And then I think down here I want some. I might go into this right there. Just break that white up a little bit. Because I dig the white. I'm just, oh, okay. I'm excited. I'm gonna leave it go because I'm so excited. Okay. So these are what we got so far. And I'm very, very excited. Now, the good about this is so much fun. Doesn't take you that much uh, time, a little time to set up. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, one thing, you know, I wish, and I guess, you know, I guess it would just be having the time and the place to set it up. I wish I could do different colors so I can just sit and pour. Cause like when you do the acrylic pouring, it's, you know, you kind of do like a big thing and you're done. Like, I wish I could do different colors. So I didn't have so much of the same colors, but I guess that's something I could work on. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not horrible. I'm really digging it. I think this will be great to do with kids. I cannot wait to do it on the wood that I want to do it on a proper piece of wood. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to finish it with some gloss. Once it's dry, I'll let you know how long it takes to dry. But yeah, this is very exciting. I'm very, very excited. I'm not hating it. I will tell you that right now. 
So this is the Martha Stewart's multi-surface marbling medium. And you can use it with your acrylic paints that you have. They recommend it with Martha Stewart paints. I used Folk Arts. I used Apple Barrel. I used Martha Stewart as well. So I'm sure any acrylic paint would work. I have a lot of ideas in my head that I'm going to be playing with this and seeing what else we can do with it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed playing with it. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Let me know what you think about this down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.